Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I was in the mood to sing today and looking around at this world. I just, I'm just thankful that God had mercy on somebody like me. Because I would hate to be facing today's world in the shape that I was in. I'd hate to know that I was bound for hell and I still had to face all this craziness in this world. Every day it's worse. Every single day. There's something new. Something going on. But you know, that's just a sign of the times. Any day now. I do believe that any day now. You know, God will be coming back. I've never really said much about my testimony. But I guess... I kind of felt like I would do that today. Um, I was lost in addiction for years, and I mean literally years. I tried every drug you could probably think of. I had a pill habit. I had a smoke habit. I had an alcohol habit. I had it all. And then... When the times I'd get clean, I'd be like, you know, I'm going to get clean this time. And I would use alcohol or whatever as that crutch, as the gateway, you know, saying, okay. You know, and at least I'm not doing drugs. But you know what? <laughs> it alters your mind, too. And it was just an excuse for me. Because after one drink, well, and I just needed it to sleep. Just help me out just a little. But that's a lie of the devil. And I'm just telling you. Anything that you have to take or drink or do just to get to that's that's not recovering. I know I understand that there are people out there that do need help and rock bottom support and recovery in Stacy Ledford and all of that group. That is the absolute best bunch of people you'll ever meet. But I was lost in addiction for a really, really long time. Out on the road <laughs> homeless at one point of course I think everybody goes through that too and uh, riding with a bunch of bikers living a very dark violent lifestyle and why I'm still alive I could not tell you I, I don't know but God saw a purpose for me and just know if anybody could have been beyond any hope, it would have been me. <laughs> or I felt like it was. I had lost my home, my family, everything. And I thought this new lifestyle was my family and the way it's supposed to be, but it's not. And then I would come back and I said, well, I just need a little to maintain. To maintain, to keep, the, to keep off those withdrawals and that old sickness. No. No, because it never stopped there. Never. Not once. It always just became more and more. But I'm here to tell you, God got a hold to me, and he delivered me from that. And I thank God every day that I've been clean for eight years. And only, only God can do that. Only him. No, nothing else. His mercy, he saw something in me that I no longer saw myself. My life, I've usually been, you know, I used to play the piano and sing in church and do all those really good things, sing with the group. But you know what? I lost that. I truly did. I couldn't play a note. Couldn't sing a note. I had ruined my vocal cords, just to put it quite, but quite bluntly, sticking stuff up my nose. <laughs> or where, you know, in your veins or whatever. Smoking. Cigarettes and anything else I could smoke. Uh, I am blessed every single time that I can sing a note without coughing or my voice cracking. So I know that's just the mercy of God. Only God can do that. And uh, it's been on my heart. Just, just know that there's nothing that you can do that God is not going to forgive you for. I'm so thankful He's not just a one chance God. He was a more chances than I can think of kind of God for me. 
So please, if you're suffering, if you're in active addiction right now, it's um, Joey Green. <laughs> He's um, with the Ark Church. He also um, suffered in addiction for a long time. So, you know, there's no judgment, no condemnation that you'll ever get when you see him or follow him on Facebook or or me either, or the the um, rock bottom support and recovery. There's no judgment here. No condone. We don't condone or enable. But there's no judgment. Or if you just want to message me and or at the end of this video or where just you know put it in comments. That's fine. And there's no judgment and. You don't even have to say what it is. If you're in active addiction, drinking, drunk, um, or high right now, it, I'm not going to judge you. Just, or any, any of the people that I know, they're not going to judge you for that. Please, just, if you want help, it's there. It's amazing. You just, you just got to reach up and, and he's right there. He's just standing there saying, well, when you call on me, I'm right here. Thank God he didn't fail that for me. There's a lot of details that I'll probably let everyone know you know on someday, but it was just on my heart to let you know that there's hope. Um I do have a TikTok account and I made I'm able to go live. I just never have. I've <laughs> not really done that yet, but I may do that sometime, and when I do, I'll let everyone know. Um, maybe doing some stuff on YouTube, and you can be follow Martin Hill Baptist Church, The Ark, Joey Dean Green, and Glory Hallelujah Green, Service Dogs and Service of the Lord. <laughs> um, any of that, um, feel free to follow that. But I'm going to try to get in to doing a little bit more live stuff so I can interact with people. And help if I can. I'll have to be much in prayer about that. That makes me a little nervous. But, so I'm going to try to do a little music. And just remember, please keep me in your prayers. I still struggle eight years later. But God, God has always got me. And he'll, he can have you too. So, reach out. Don't be lost. There is hope. And it's in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you, there ain't no high that I ever experienced. After I came out of that, and it took a while for me to ever get myself back to even knowing how to talk and carry on a normal conversation with people. It took a while. But it was, it's like a lot and the fact that I get to play with my awesome, awesome grandkids. And it, it, it's a wonderful thing. My, my family's back in my life. And the Lord knows they don't. I have, they have every right not to be. I about swallowed my gum. But anyway. Um, and just remember, there's one thing that I had to learn. When I was coming out of this. Even though I wasn't getting high, I was still had a bad mentality on some things. And I was so angry. I couldn't see why. Why everybody thought, wasn't say, couldn't see, hey, I've changed. She changed it. Just let me do all the things with them and all that stuff. But let me tell you something. I manipulated people. I lied to people. Uh, you name it, I probably did it. And they have every right to feel the way they feel. All you can do is do your best and let God do the rest. And put your recovery and Jesus Christ first. Because that's the only way, the only way that you can make the, your family and those you love the winners.
Sometimes I just got to let the Lord have his way. And I feel like that's what he meant for me to do today. I love you. Keep me in your prayers. I will pray for you. God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. <laughs>